In certain circumstances, 4K P60 production is absolutely essential. If you need the smooth motion and high resolution that 4K P60 gives you, these are some of the tools that will help you do that. Today we're going to go over some products from Ada, Kiloview, Yuan, vMix, and Switchblade systems and how they all work together to provide you that 4K P60 workflow. If you're saying to yourself, well, no, I'm really only planning on doing HD for the foreseeable future, here are a few reasons why you might want to consider 4K. You can do region of interest. So with 4K, you can zoom in on different parts of that image. So if you have, for example, a 4K camera, you can almost treat it like a PTZ camera because you're never breaking that 1080 uh, resolution. So you can zoom in on that area. Another reason is for archival purposes. Generally, these days, we don't watch standard definition video because it was so tiny and awful looking. Now, that might be the case in the future. So moving forward, if you're acquiring your footage, even if you're broadcasting in HD, recording it in 4K for archival purposes and re later repurposing down the road might be an important factor to you. So with that, let's take a look at a few of these products and how they work together. Let me walk you through the physical products here. We have the Ada UHD 200. Uh, it's a small form factor 4K P60 camera coming out HDMI 2.0. We're coming out of this camera into a Kiloview N20 Plus. The N20 Plus is the 4K P60 version of that. That's a full 4K P60 NDI encoder. And then we're coming out of that into a Yuan SC710. And the SC710 is in a Switchblade Turbo system running vMix. So we've got a workflow path which takes us from the camera to an NDI encoder and to a capture card. And then at that point, we've got two different signals coming into the system uh, so we can show both IP and the HDMI side by side. So here in vMix, we've set it to run at 2160p60. So this is running in 4K p60 on the system. And of course, we need a fairly robust system to do that, which is why we have this running on the Turbo 12G, which has the robust specifications needed to do mixing of HDMI and full NDI 4K P60. So we have our two sources here. I'm going to minimize my camera and my uh, desktop capture. So these are our two sources. Um, adding the NDI was just as simple as going into NDI desktop capture, scrolling down to our device and selecting it. And then as far as adding this as a capture device, we just went into cameras and found this from the list, uh, the SC710. So the SC710 is a four channel 4K P60 capture card. And now we have um, a fairly low latency as we can see vMix's render time is hovering around one millisecond. Of course, through the system, we're probably seeing something more like three frames, but we're getting really good performance out of this, despite the fact that we're running at such a high resolution and frame rate. So recording in this, and uh, obviously for those circumstances where people stream in 4K, uh, this is gonna make a great platform and workflow using the Ada camera and the Kiloview or the Yuan capture um, and running that on the vMix platform, tying it all together uh, into a really amazing 4K P60 workflow. Whether 4K P60 is essential for your production or you're just looking for that extra resolution to zoom in on for your HD production, or perhaps just archiving your footage for later reuse, Kiloview, Yuan, Ada, and vMix all tie together to create a seamless 4K P60 workflow that you can use today. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at US Broadcast and we're happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.